Hey, how we doing? Jason Canaram here. Appreciate you stopping by. But, um, we found some new mac and cheese today, and we're going to give it a try. See you here in a minute. Yeah, as you've seen just a little bit ago, we got some new mac and cheese here. Cheetos mac and cheese. So, um, Chester Cheeto, he's a good guy. I trust his opinion. We're going to see what he did to this here mac and cheese. All right, we got some Cheeto mac and cheese. It's bold and cheesy. <laughs> it's pretty cheesy, just like me, right? Well, the instructions don't look too bad here. Um, two tablespoons of butter. Hey, we got that. Quarter cup of milk. We got that. Six cups of water. Got that in a medium saucepan. We're supposed to bring the six cups of water to a boil and put this stuff in there. Well, I've got this water almost boiling, but I need to open this box and see what this stuff looks like. Because I'm really curious. There's our Cheeto dust. And twisty pasta. Alright, well, we'll get it put in there. You occasionally want to stir to keep the pasta from sticking to the bottom. And placing your wooden spoon across the top of your pan will prevent it from boiling over. Hey guys, I really didn't throw this away and dig it out of the trash. But it says uh, boil this for seven minutes, which I did, or until this is tender. It looks tender to me. Um, I'm supposed to rinse this and return it to the pan. So. Turn this off and grab this thing and head to the sink. I'll be right back. All right, I drained it. It specifically says in big bold letters, do not rinse. So after that, I'm supposed to add in two tablespoons of butter or margarine and um, let it fully melt before adding the milk and then squeeze in the powder. So that's sizzling pretty good. I'm gonna give it a stir. So here's our pasta. And our butter. Now we have a quarter cup of milk. So the seasoning pack is next and it says uh, mix well and serve warm. So we mix this up and it's good to eat. Okay, if you say so. Sure does look cheesy, don't it? All right, 
Well, I tell you what, this definitely does not smell like <laughs> no normal mac and cheese. It's definitely going to be bold and cheesy. It does have the smell of Cheetos, that is for sure. It's mixed up really well. I still see a few little chunks. It's what we're looking like. Here we go, moment of truth. It's time to try this stuff. It is definitely orange. It smells like Cheetos. A little cheesy, pretty bold. Nothing out of the ordinary. I could taste the Cheetos in it just a, just a little bit. It just tastes like a uh, homemade mac and cheese to me. It's got the color and the smell. But I think it's just mac and cheese. Well, guys, I appreciate you. And um, if I find anything else weird like this, I'll make a video. See you all next time. Remember, smile while you still have teeth.